from the Strip Studios, this is 10 News. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt with the 10 News Update. Officers found an arsenal of military weapons inside the home of the man accused of shooting a city worker. On Labor Day, police say 79-year-old Nathan Brogan shot LeCarter Washington. And LeCarter Washington was inspecting a water pipe at Brogan's home. Today's search falls under the gun violence restraining order. Washington is expected to recover. The search continues for the driver who crashed through a trolley crossing barrier. Police say a driver in a stolen car led them on a pursuit starting in Mission Valley. They say he ran through a red light and crashed through a trolley crossing bar. Officers found the car abandoned on Mission Bay Drive. The crossing guard was still on the hood. And the suspect is on the loose. A local nonprofit is gathering food for thousands of people in the Carolinas impacted by Hurricane Florence. International relief teams based in San Diego is supplying bagged meals for storm victims. The meals can be heated up with a flameless heater already attached. Right now, the company has 5,400 meals in Florida. They are ready to go as soon as the storm passes. Angelica is joining us now to tell us what we can expect weather-wise tomorrow. It's going to be a great weekend in San Diego. Temperatures are still relatively mild. 87 in our inland communities at the coast, 79. And if you're headed out to Cabo tomorrow, temperatures there around 75 degrees. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com. You can download our free 10 News mobile app in the App Store. I'm Kimberly Hunt.